Master Dale, it's impossible! Impossible? What's impossible? Learning math. Math? Why? What's your problem with math? Well, I'm just, I'm trying to learn to count, and so I try counting things, and it's just not working. Really? What's the, what are you trying to count? My family. Well, that makes sense. You have a really big family, so, um, yeah, I would think that, that there would be enough sheep there that, that you could count them. Yeah, but every time I try counting them, I fall asleep. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose that happens with a lot of people. Yeah, I'm never going to learn. Yeah, I'm sure you can. You know, lots of people learn math, and uh, in fact, most people. And it can be hard sometimes, but with some help and, and just working at it, you can do it. It's not impossible. You think so? Yeah. But you know, when you have something that's really impossible, then you got to talk to God. What do you mean? Well, for example, Abraham and Sarah, they wanted a baby. And God promised them a baby, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? Well, they hadn't had a baby their whole life, even though they wanted one. And they were really old, like older than grandparents old. And, and they still didn't have one, so it was, it was too late for them to be having babies. But God promised that they would have one. And so, did they? Yeah, they did. Abraham was a hundred years old when Isaac was finally born. Really? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was impossible, but nothing's impossible for God. In fact, talking about babies being born, Jesus didn't even have a human father when he was born. And yet, God accomplished the impossible, because nothing's impossible for him. Really? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, I got one for you. Okay, go ahead. All right. Can God make a stone so big that even he can't push it? Because if he can't, then that's impossible for him. But if he can't push, if he, if he can't push it, then it's impossible for him to push it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, he already did that. He did? Yeah. When? Well, God made the stone that was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb. And Jesus is God, and he was laying dead in that tomb, so he couldn't roll the stone when he was dead. And in fact, that stone was so heavy that even when he was alive with this, that, I mean, his human body wouldn't have been strong enough to do it either. And so, so there he is, God laying dead in the tomb, unable to roll away that stone. But then God used an angel to roll the stone away to, uh, to show that Jesus was alive, and uh, I guarantee he can move it now. But, but that, uh, that's cheating! <laughs> I'm just saying nothing's impossible for God. And so he could do even stuff like that. Wow. So, well, then that means that any problem that we have, God can solve it. Yeah. He loves us and he's going to take care of us. He doesn't always solve things the way we expect him to, like rolling that stone. But we know that we can count on him to take care of us. And even when our problems seem impossible, we can take him to God knowing that he loves us. That's great. Hey, let's talk to him now. Good idea. Will you pray with us? Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For doing. For doing. The impossible. The impossible. Help me. Help me. To trust you. To trust you. All the time. All the time. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So question for families. Is there something that seemed impossible for you that God solved? Or is there something that seems impossible for you right now, some problem that you have that seems impossible that maybe do you think God can handle it? And that's something for you to talk about as a family. Oh, that's a good question. That would be a good discussion. Yeah, I think so. I wish it were possible to get notified when there were new episodes of this show. Oh, well, funny you should mention that. There's a button 
right up there that you click on that and um, and it'll you can subscribe to our playlist on YouTube. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, not impossible though. Okay, well that's great. So do that right now. Okay. Well, thanks everybody. Oh, and it's also it's still the Easter season. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. He is risen! He is risen indeed! Hallelujah! Alright. Goodbye, everybody. Bye!